Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Look at this kitty. Getting all full of crap, aren't you, eh? You little cat. Look at you. G'day, viewers. Well, I decided to get this car out, just take it for a little bit of a drive. It's been sitting under the bloody trees for almost a year now. It's got that all covered up because bloody mice got in there and ate half the bloody air filter out, the bastards. A battery in, and a little temporary fuel tank for shifting the car around. The start of the matter is unfortunately the um, Bendix is starting to stick, so I'm going to have to get that uh, lubricated. Got a whole heap of bloody spiders living in here, so let's need to start. Let's see how they There you go, it's stuck. I'm gonna lubricate the, um, the bend because it's getting stuck in the little shaft that slides on it. doesn't slip out all the way and get deep engaged into the um, flywheel, so I'm gonna have to fix that. Still runs like crap. I think it's the, um, the leads are original on this, and the, uh, the plugs haven't been changed in a long time. And the, um, the distributor caps are original, so it won't run very good. It's, it's never been changed. Put that at the shade, and the spot where this was sitting is just all growing in with grass. I'm gonna have to mow that down. Still mess flying a bit. Put that there. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but the little chicks have hatched. Look at that. A baby willy wagtail. There you go. All right, I better let this bird be now. If you always mow that grass where that car was parked, it's pretty damn long. Yeah. Go. All right, let's see how long this grass is. Uh, if you also have to wait for that bearded dragon to get out of there, so I'll go shoot that one. I don't want to kill him. There's grass over the car was. So I'm going to uh, mow it out there with a slasher here. First, I'm going to get that bearded dragon out of there before it gets killed. Alright, if you also slash this up. Out the way, a bloody dog. What's the chase this bloody thing? I'm going to need you holding the camera while I do all this. There's trees. Something's got a clunk under there. Yeah, something's got a clunk under it. Bloody hold a camera here. That should be enough. Alright. Yeah, I'm too low to the ground there. Way too low. Just lift it up. Alright, there we go. Get that PDO off. And that'll be it. Better than what it was anyway. Okay, if you always mostly around here, the grass is bad around the doors. Haven't shifted in a while, I've just been mowing around it. Oh, he survived. There you go. Thanks for those bearded dragons out this year. There 
big out on the whole thing. These tend to come a little bit close to these little bits, so you've got to check these every now and then. Four cylinder, perfect engine. A model number. Uh, tight, I can't really see it there, so I can't get behind them. And this is an LD3120. It's, um, it's a four cylinder, non turbo. One intake, two in the one, um, two uh, intake, two to one manifold here. It's really that set it up. It's an absolute source manifold, I think. If I look at it correctly. Yeah, it's really how I've set it up. And I've also noticed this now. An exhaust leak. I didn't notice that before, I just noticed that just now. So that's probably something that has to be repaired. There you go. Good luck, Jesus. And there you go. I think this is a model, I think, is a 4.246 Perkins. I'm not quite sure on that. As you can see, it's definitely a four cylinder, but how do I set the uh, manifold up, as I was trying to say before? With an intake, they've um, split it up to go into three. So you've got one there, intake, two on that one, and one over there. But the exhaust manifold here is quite funny how they've set this up. Seems to have one there and one major exhaust port there and that's it. It's never seen a setup quite like that before. Usually you just have four for each of the um, cylinders. But here you've only got one and the rest are here. It's strange how they've done that. There you go, another exhaust leak there, I'm going to have to fix these bolts, must have come loose, so that's something I'm going to have to uh, repair. It's not a bad leak though, so it shouldn't um, uh, be too much of a problem. Didn't uh, show the after when I painted this, but this is the uh, slash that it with uh, me and my old man made. That bird obviously doesn't want me anywhere near its nest, but I'm not going to bother it. Um, yeah, we put a couple of coats of uh, primer on it. I was supposed to get some... Uh, white paint to put over it but we couldn't uh, get it and it ended up being too expensive so this primer seems to work quite well but it's worked out quite well this slasher very uh, heavily built how it should be okay bird i know all right viewers thanks for watching